So, big man, what do you think about the Audi RS e-tron GT? Really? So, yes, guys, you join me at the top of Devon's Dartmoor Park in the Audi RS e-tron GT. Now, there are, in fact, two versions of this. You've got the standard and then you've got the RS, with the RS having more power and a sportier appearance. Now, fun fact, this is a claim to do around 300, 310 miles on a full charge. However, from where we are in London, Essex, to Devon, I managed to get 280 miles of range out of the battery and still had some juice left. And another important thing is both sides. You can charge this thing on both sides, which is great because there are a few charges you get there and you kind of have to put the cable over the car and it gets a bit messy. With this having charging on both sides, it really is quite helpful. But this, in fact, is the base spec. There is a carbon and Vorsprung edition. However, this is just the base. And to be honest with you, it's got everything I need. The alloys might not be everybody's cup of tea, but to be honest, it works. It works. It's one of those specs that even though it's simple, it really does work and with this being the RS you do get a few subtle cues like the diffuser under here which looks very very meaty. So what does 637 horsepower in the Audi RS e-tron GT feel like? There's nothing really going on it's flashing green. Jeez! <laughs> and what I see is a 0 to 30 of 2.24 and a 0 to 60 or 4.03. Could that really take the number one spot? Now, a key word when talking about the RS e-tron GT is adaptive. And by that, not only is the suspension adaptive, and to know right now it's in dynamic, meaning it should be in the crashiest, the hardest mode, but this is air suspension. So we are literally riding on a cloud. Now, when you pop it into comfort, it softens things up really, really well. And you literally feel like, like I said, you're driving on, I don't know, a boat. Now, something to note is most cars, like I said, in dynamic are horrible to drive your heads all over the place but we're not on the greatest roads here and it feels so smooth and i'm not going to be i don't know somebody that reads the manual all the time but when you do go through the drive modes the car also changes how high it sits so when it's inefficient it sits in the lowest setting for probably i don't know less air resistance when it's in dynamic it goes down but when it's in comfort it goes up and that you'd think wouldn't be great but of course it allows the suspension to travel more without bottoming out so essentially you get the best of both worlds and you also have an individual mode but quite frankly having it in dynamic is great you get all the power something to notice in comfort and efficiency it stops you at 85 miles an hour but obviously this is England we don't go above those speeds <laughs> It's very, very smooth. Now, in terms of numbers, although it does remind me of a supercar, the boot space cannot be beaten. Have a look at this. I've got the pram in there, I've got a hold all, got a few other bags of food for our trip away, and it done it like a dream. However, something to note is I did have to dismantle the pram because due to this part here, it doesn't really allow you to put things in that are high. However, just opening the door here and pressing this button. Oh, it's very windy. You also have a boot at the front. So you have a frunk and in here we've obviously got the charging cables, camera bag, tripod, extension cable, because you know when you want to go into the garden and have a little drink and that, you want to make sure you get a little extension cable. I don't know why I said that, but hey. While we're also talking about the driving modes, the steering feel is great. Bearing in mind, of course, this is a four wheel drive and it's a heavy old boy. It still feels very nimble, very on its toes, and that's only a positive thing. And when you do put it in comfort, it still does your day to day. So this is somewhat of a unicorn. Supercar performance, it's rugged because as you can see, we're in Devon and the roads aren't always tarmac and it handles them like a boss. So as mentioned, it is a heavy boy, 2,400 kilo, something like that. And with this having the rear wheel steering, <laughs> it's kind of blind here, guys. If I go quiet, you know why. <laughs> when it comes to cornering, there is no issues whatsoever. <laughs> you know you've got the grip. Wow. 
and it can just do this all day long. You sometimes forget that it is a heavy boy. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure if you threw the car slightly faster than you should be, you might get a bit of unwanted understeer or body roll, but when being smart, it's a thing of beauty, man. Now, a key word that Audi have used when describing the RS e-tron GT, or the e-tron GT for that matter, is it's got a slippery profile. And you definitely can see that just following the car's contours and the car's lines. It makes sense how efficient this thing really is. Like I said, it said it could do 318 or 315 miles out of a full charge. And I definitely managed to do 280 and it probably had about 30 miles left. So it probably could do its figures in the real world. However, I didn't have that much aircon on. I didn't need to use much of the electricity. So overall, it just done its job really, really well. Now, in regards to it doing what it says on a tin, at the end of the day, it's still an EV. Battery range on this is spot on. And something to note is that I don't usually use the inbuilt sat navs on any cars. I prefer to use Apple CarPlay. However, when you have an EV, something that the onboard sat nav is really good at is planning your journey and then also factoring in whether you'll make it there on time. And when I did type in the location, bearing in mind, traveled from Essex, London side, all the way to Devon, it said you can make it to your location without charging. However, you will arrive at your destination without enough juice. And what it did essentially was say, these are your options. You have a fast, a slow, or a medium option. And I said, I want the fast option. So it took me to the fastest charger available en route. And within 20 minutes, I was back up from say 20 or no 13 percent all the way to 80. Literally went inside, heard a tinkle, got a Snickers, got a Red Bull, sugar free. And then I went, <laughs> the car's ready. We all jumped back in and it's, yeah, it's absolutely spot on. There are times when I think, oh, am I going to make it or it's, this is one of the most predictable battery ranges if that makes sense there are quite a few at times Whee! wow <laughs> there are a few at times that would make you think i swear it said 130 miles all of a sudden you're down to 110 not the rs e-tron gt this thing tells no lies and it's a head turner like i said it's not everyone's cup of tea but it definitely has RS vibes. And as we go into this national speed limit area, <laughs> it's super car performance <laughs> all day, every day. And I don't know if I've mentioned it, this isn't the carbon or the four sprung spec. This is the base standard spec, which retails at about 120 grand. And from my experience, I don't think I'm wanting them anything. There are quite a few negatives, but I'm quite sure even if you got the four sprung edition, it probably would be the same. But it's hard when you get a car to just be positive about it. But that's all I really can do. Sing its praises, especially yesterday when I had to pop out to Tesco and it was pitch black and we were on country roads, four wheel drive system, handled it really well, raised the car up a bit, literally just with the press of a button and the lights, amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Great piece of kit. <laughs> Look at it go, wow. It's definitely worthy of the RS badge. <laughs> this is definitely the EV to have if you are a petrol head. And the only reason why I say that is the performance, sure it's not got the sound, of course it hasn't, but the performance won't leave you wanting anything. And <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to say this. It's fun. <laughs> if you haven't guessed already.